The boy cried on his bed as the horrible ghost approached him. Ah! Hi friends, today I'm going to tell you a horror story that happened to an unusual boy named Luke. His mom named Stacy went into her son's room to wake him up for school. Mom, just five more minutes and I'll get up, Luke said sleepily. But then his dad, George, came in. I thought I heard you still want to sleep. No, no, dad, I'm already awake, replied the boy. A couple minutes later, the boy was eating breakfast. Luke, it's time to go, yelled the father. Fifteen minutes later, George drove Luke to school. The first lesson started and the teacher was very boring about history. Luke couldn't listen to it for long and fell asleep. He dreamed of a thick forest. He was walking through it, admiring butterflies and bees. Suddenly, it got dark. There was a loud cry. Suddenly, Luke's doppelganger came out from behind a tree. He looked very tired and ragged. The doppelganger ran up to the real Luke and shouted, Don't ever come here. Please, forget about this place. Luke woke up terrified. It wasn't until a minute later that he realized that the teacher was standing beside him and shouting. At recess, the boy had already forgotten about his dream. Luke was having fun with his friends Ethan and Greg. The boys went back to geography class. The teacher was talking about a mystical forest, where people used to perform rituals a long time ago. After school, the friends talked about the forest for a long time. I read about this forest on the internet, where people got cool powers said Ethan. Tomorrow is a day off, we should do a ritual there, continued Gregorian. Luke thought it was a really cool idea, because he had completely forgotten about his dream. Luke's come home. The boy was greeted by his mom. Did you sleep in for history class again today? Stacy asked. That's not true, I just got a little broody, replied Luke. My teacher called me and told me everything. You'll be spending the weekend at home. The boy went into his room. He was terribly upset because he already had plans for tomorrow. Luke called Ethan and told him everything. Ethan suggested that Luke run away. Luke lay on his bed and couldn't sleep for a long time. But he did and dreamed about the forest again. Luke dreamt about his double again. But now he looked different and called him to the forest. Luke woke up and didn't understand his strange dream. After a few minutes, he forgot it again. All day long, Luke read the history book. His parents would sometimes come into his room to see if he was really reading. Night came. Stacy and George went to bed. Luke walked quietly past their room to the front door. The friends met at the bus stop. Together, they walked to the woods. Luke looked at him and realized he had seen him somewhere. They stood across from each other. Ethan pulled out an old book and dreamed of reading strange words. Suddenly, strange sounds were heard nearby. What was that? Ethan asked. Must be animals, answered Greg, but the sounds repeated and got louder. Ethan and Greg ran out of the forest with great speed. Luke was stunned with fear. In front of him stood a man with pale skin, white eyes, and a wide smile. Hi, Luke, said the strange man. The boy came to his senses and started to run away. Luke made it to the street where there are lights. There was a man sitting on a bench. Luke decided to ask him for help and went over to him. Please help, someone is chasing me, Luke said in tears. The man looked at the boy with surprise. Can you see me? But you're alive, said the man. Yes, I can see you. Of course I'm alive, replied Luke as he continued to cry. And I'm not. How do you do it? The man asked. Luke started running away again. He went back home. Luke lay down on his bed, and after a moment, he fell asleep. In the morning, the boy woke up and had forgotten what had happened yesterday. But when he got to his feet, they were sore, and he remembered everything. Stacy walked into the room. Good morning, son. You can go for a walk today, Luke's mom said. Thanks, mom. I'll meet up with my friends, replied Luke. The boy called Greg and Ethan and arranged to meet up. Luke's friends apologized for running away because of the silly noises. Luke didn't listen to them and told them about the strange people he had seen yesterday. Ethan and Greg laughed out loud. I think you hit your head yesterday, Luke, Ethan said. Maybe you should see a doctor, Greg suggested. 
Luke turned around and walked away. On his way home, he noticed the man he saw yesterday. The man also noticed Luke and started to approach the boy. Luke decided not to run away, even though he was very scared. Who are you? Luke asked. I'm a ghost, replied the man. What are you doing here? Continued the boy. I'll be gone in a few days, but for now I might still be here. Luke was still talking to a ghost named Bob for a long time. His mom was walking down the street and noticed her son. Luke, who are you talking to? Stacy asked. Luke realized she couldn't see him and stayed silent, not knowing what to say. Tell her you were just practicing a poem for school. Luke repeated his words and Stacy believed him. The boy didn't have time to ask Bob about the forest ghost and went home with his mom. On the way home, he saw another ghost looking at the boy. Mom, do you see that person? Asked Luke. What man? Honey, we're the only ones here, replied Mom. It just seemed like it, said the boy. Together, they went back home. Luke went straight to bed. In his dream, he saw a familiar forest and a scary ghost. Give me your body, Luke. I want to be alive again, said the ghost with a smile. Luke realized he was asleep and tried to wake up, but nothing worked. The ghost began to move closer to him. All Luke could do was cry loudly. The alarm clock rang and the boy woke up. His father came into the room. Wake up, kid. It's time for school, said George. At school, Luke wanted to sleep again, but he was afraid to fall asleep so he wouldn't see the ghost again. Luke stared at the teacher and suddenly the ghost appeared instead. The boy screamed with fear. The ghost disappeared and the teacher ran up to Luke. What's wrong, Luke? The teacher asked. The boy didn't answer anything. He just ran out of the classroom. Luke tried for Bob, but he wasn't on the bench. Luke remembered Bob talking about his job at the train station and headed there. Bob was really there, but he had become transparent. What's happening to you? The boy asked in horror. I'm about to disappear from this world, boy. I wanted one last look at my train, said Bob sadly. There's a strange ghost after me. I don't know what to do, said Luke tearfully. He wants to take over your mind and your body. You need to stop being afraid of him and face him. The boy was dumbfounded with fear. But I can't. He's really scary, isn't he? You have to. You're a brave boy, said Bob and vanished. Luke sat where Bob had disappeared for a long time to collect his thoughts. He realized that there was no other way out. The boy went home to wait for the night. On the way, he met his friends. We're sorry, Luke. We didn't mean to hurt you, the boys said at the same time. I don't hold a grudge against you guys. I have to go, replied Luke. We believe you and we want to help you. You are our friend after all, Ethan said. I made the whole thing up to play a prank on you. Luke lied. He went home and went to bed. He dreamed about Bob, who was there with his family at the train station. Luke woke up, but it was still night. He sneaked out of the house again and headed towards the woods. He saw the place from his dreams, but no one was there. Suddenly, he heard strange noises. It was the laughter of a horrible ghost. He came out from behind a tree and said, Foolish boy, you came to me. Luke felt a fear that struck his whole body. I'll take your body first, then I'll get your friends and family. The ghost continued. Now the boy felt angry. I won't let you do that. The ghost laughed again. The boy ran towards the ghost with all his speed. They collided, and Luke lost consciousness. Hey, wake up. Don't scare us, Ethan said. His friends were standing next to the boy. What are you doing here? Luke asked. I had a weird dream with a man named Bob, and he said, You were here, replied Greg. Together they walked back home. Luke never saw that ghost again but sometimes he noticed others.